So hi, and um, welcome to this series on interactive narrative design, specifically interactive narrative design using a tool called Twine, which is a free tool, which I'll go into detail what that's about and um, why we're using it. Uh, before we get too far into Twine, however, I just want to talk about what this series is going to cover, as well as just a brief overview on interactive design itself, what it is and why we're talking about it. Um, so what the series is actually going to cover, um, of course, we're going to talk, start by talking about what interactive design is, um, what interactive design is for user experience design, so UX, what it is for game design, what it is for storytelling, um, and then we'll talk about Twine as a tool that helps facilitate that process and specifically facilitate the process of designing something that can very quickly become quite big and difficult to keep track of. Um, so we'll talk about uh, just installing Twine in the first place. We'll talk about building your very first stories and creating links between branching pos story possibilities. We'll talk about building an interactivity, so how you can allow the player to player or user uh, to change the flow of the story. We'll talk about how do you keep track of what a player does and the choices that they make and how do you allow for that to change the story as the player progresses through. Um, we'll talk about adding sound and images, which is um, crucially important if you're doing this for the purposes of storyboarding an interactive narrative. Um, and one of the main reasons for using this in the first place is to be able to prototype and storyboard a much larger game uh, and therefore actually see the entire game in scope before you spend ridiculous sums of money actually building it. Um, we will touch on syntax and font and how you can change formatting. And one of the last things I'd like to cover with this series is how to actually embed your Twine story into a WordPress page. Um, now, I am going to be very PC specific as I'm going through this. Uh, so everything I talk about, just Google for a Mac equivalent and I'm sure you'll be able to find it. Um, same thing with the use of WordPress at the end. If you use Squarespace or something else, just Google for the equivalent um, steps that I'm following and I'm sure you'll, you'll find the information that you need. Um, okay, so uh, who I am, so I go by Mama Pixel online. Um, my first name's Epona. And I've been in the animation and games industry for about 10 years, maybe a little bit more. And I was in theater before that. Um, what I do is I do narrative design, I do storyboarding, um, and I do that for theater and I do that for games. Um, and I'm also a teacher, obviously, otherwise I wouldn't be doing this. Uh, okay, so that's the introduction. Uh, the next thing I want to get into is, of course, um, what is narrative design?